1973, if I'm right. Yes. Yeah. He was the first school prefect of our grade school, and I'm here to interview for our OSIN television. So I will start the interview by asking him to tell us his credentials before I start asking my questions. So, senior. When you ask of my credentials, what do you mean? Um, your credentials, your full name, um, the date of birth, where you worked, and what you have done in life. Okay. My full name is Anthony Aka. I told an info. I was named after a great French churchman who was a parish priest of Sorpon from 1930 to about 1937 when he left the shores of Ghana. Uh, so that was it. And I was born on 21st of July 1934. It's a long time ago. Um, my father was a schoolmaster. Uh, no, no, he was a school teacher in Salpon until his promotion as a headmaster in 1939. He went to D as a senior school master. And then, uh, so my father took us to. Uh, second day in 1939 for the headship of the uh, St. Paul's uh, Cadet Senior Boys School. My mother was a comfort Veronica a beautiful a baker and then also a dressmaker. So the two parents nurtured me. Uh, then I went to school, I enrolled at Isikato County School, Infant School. You know, secondly, at three schools, Infant Senior. And junior. So I went there in 1940 or 41 to be enrolled there. And I didn't have it convenient to be going to school at Isikado because. We were living at Anafu, 2nd Street, Anafu. And it meant that every morning I had to do a two mile walk to Isikado. It was inconvenient for me. And I, I said, ah, but my father is also a schoolmaster at secondary, very close to our house. Our house was Second Street and the church was and the school was Third Street. So I would go, so go to school. And then one day the parish priest called Father Talenden came to the infant school at Zikado. And then I went to his driver and told him that when they return into second day, I want to go to them, go with them. I said, why? He said, this is too much for me. And my father was a poor schoolmaster. If it had been today, I would say I would sit in a Rolls Royce to go to school. But no, it couldn't happen. So. Went to school and then first I was going with my sisters 
who were older than me and they were beating me all the way. Knocks and all sort of things. So I had some mates also at Anafo. They were also going to school. So they bought me a good company and we went to school. And these friends were George. Uh, I remember his name. Uh, Isaac Bissu, who was a senior lecturer later. Uh, 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 Parquisi Dick, Dickens, uh, uh, Yami. We were all small boys living together, so it was good traveling with him to his schedule to go to school. Oh, that's good, that's good. Uh, then, um, George Anquana, the George I mentioned, George Anquana. George Anquana eventually became my uncle-in-law. And then, uh, but after staying in that school for two, two years, my father was transferred again, this time to Elmina. And I joined my father there. So I repeated class two, and then went up to standard five before we were transferred from Albina to Anomabo. Okay. And then I spent three years there, standard five, standard six, standard seven, uh, where I, I, I wrote my standard seven, standard seven certificate examination. Those, those, those is, we call it the hall. Okay. And it was not easy to pass the hall, but we were 31 students and only eight of us passed in my year, 1950. Wow. So after my elementary education hall donations, at which I was successful, I think I had a distinction or something. My father wanted me to go to St. Augustine's teacher training. At Bogos? Mm, then it was at Kekos. Okay. So I told him that we should all be placed in the same basket. You are a teacher by professor. My other brother is a teacher. My sister, after whom I came, was also a teacher. <laughs> so we can all, we cannot all be teachers. My father didn't like that. And my father liked it so much, so he wanted me to be a teacher. So as for me, I'll go to see him school. So I was, ah. So Vincent, I became an aplanking in the Bedford vehicle of a housemate. Okay. So when we go in, I joined the vehicle, uh, meet the housemate. We are going to Takradi Habo, we are going to Kumasi, going to Accra, and all those places. And my father felt that he an a planky was Infra Dick for me and to his personality. So he said I should stop. And at times we went out and didn't come until after three days or so. Okay. I was uh, unhappy. Yes, he was, he was unhappy about it. So I became a messenger at Anamabu Postal Agency. And I enjoyed that job because I liked in those days riding bicycle and the appointment was a time with a bicycle. Mm -hmm. And that infuriated my mother. The way I was using the bicycle, she said, when I go to work, I shouldn't bring the bicycle home to the home. Because that bicycle belongs to God, it does, it, to the government, and it didn't want any trouble. But I did it in my hair. So I did that job for a while. Then there was a teaching appointment at uh, 
Bankası. So that was where I went to the bit of teaching before I went to St. John's. St. John's, you know. That, as a, that was in what year? That was in 1952. 1952. So I was one of the first few students of 47 who were enrolled at St. John's. We were put in a classroom which was very familiar to me, but that was my father's classroom. So, and then, Your father was also a teacher at St. John's then? No, my father was not a teacher. Okay. My, my father was teaching at elementary schools. Okay. In fact, he was head in elementary schools. Okay. Um, so, we spent the first term of 1952 at St. Paul's Hill. And then uh, the second term, we spent it at St. John's. Building had not been completed. I think it was a headmaster's office under the science block, the administrative block there, yeah. which had been completed. But the place was very bushy. And every Wednesday afternoon, we spent our last period doing what the school termed manual labor. We were doing this until one day a stick nearly beat me or beat a friend called Battles. And we stopped reading and said, Ato, do you think in the next 50 years we will see this tree grow? I said, even if we don't see who we had prepared the way, like VM Parantis, for people after us. So, that's where it is. So, we, 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 we did this. And then, you know, on and on and on and on, we stayed in the school. Okay. But one thing we were very, very unhappy about was using as using the students as laborers. As, uh, not laborers, but using us as, as uh, well, they call something in, uh, in, in science. Uh, they, they give us no masters. Uh, there were there were a lot of incentives which were missing in our student days, like coping with three masters. Uh, so one day we decided to go on strike, and uh, we did it in the month of October. So we went on strike. Every evening you go to church. Okay. You say you were not happy about how they were using the students at the school for it to weed and do all those bidamina jobs. So you went on strike. So what happened when you went on strike? When we were when 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 we went on strike it was purposely to have uh, more masters to teach us. We, 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 we didn't see our future secure when we had just about three masters. So we made sure we drew attention to the splite. And then a board of inquiry was set into it and Archbishop Porter then appointed his Vicar General called Father Andrew, Andrew Van Hout, to sit on the committee of, committee of inquiry. 
and then without interviewing me or any of my mates, they decided that no, the strike was not from students, but it was from Father Bua who had arranged with us to go on strike. I said, no, with all due respect to the church, this was unthinkable. Because how could Father Bua cut his throat to spite his own face? He was a headmaster of the, of the school. So he couldn't cut his nose to spite his own face. So we felt it was a genuine demand of the students to ask for more masters. Then, the following year, that is 1954, we had quite a number of masters. We had uh, Mr. J. Johnson, who we affectionately called Skello. And uh, if I may explain how he got the name Skello. You can go ahead. You can explain. Yes. We were, we, that is the senior class, we were his, uh, the senior class, he was coming to teach us health science. And uh, he was going to teach us uh, skeleton. Skeleton? Yes, skeleton. Human skeleton. He said, students, this morning we are going to do skeleton. The skeleton comes from a Greek word called I dry. So it's skeleton. Skeleton. Skelo. Skelo. So, so after that Skelo Skelo Skelo. So that is how you got his name. Okay, I see. So Mr Johnson, J. H. Johnson, Robert Winston, Robert Roos, Robert Mills, Asifua, John Edu. Uh, Father Theodore DeRoy, uh, Father Esma, uh, to mention a few, this were the masters. So we had a flurry of uh, masters, uh, and the last. Um, I remember too well Robert Bruce was teaching French. And uh, Skelo was teaching almost every subject. Uh, that we had also Mrs. L. Mrs. L was the uh, was the wife of the district director of education. Okay. Uh, he was teaching us English and uh, uh, literature. Okay. And then. Uh, Mrs. Luca also came in. The husband was teaching geography, regional geography. And then uh, the wife was also teaching uh, English. So, with that compliment, it was okay. And Bishop Esua was teaching us history and then was also teaching us Latin. Okay. And then, visit. If Bishop Esso taught you Latin, you didn't, there's no human being who can crack your brains and put it Latin. In your he was an excellent, wonderful teacher. That was Bishop Esso. So, on on, we went on. Later on, I think we were joined by one Mr. Edu, who was also teacher and then there was also uh, I've forgotten I've forgotten his name but he was always sleeping so the he was teaching in the lower classes he was teaching Fante okay. and they were calling him sleeper okay. or sleepy night or something how many were you in class oh by the time we reached from five we were eleven Eleven. The time you read form five were eleven, but it yeah. started with how many people? Huh? Forty-seven. Oh, Forty-seven. The time you read form five were eleven, meaning That's most people left. Uh, yes, they left or or they failed. Or they failed. Okay. Make, make so eleven finished form five. Form five. So when we went for 
JC O level. No. Uh, Cambridge School Settle. Cambridge School. How did it go then? Uh, it went well, except that the school prefect himself failed to get a certificate. Oh, I see. And then I'll tell you how. In those days, you fail in mathematics or English, and Feel you don't qualify for certificate. Oh, I see. Either English or mathematics, don't qualify for certificate. Oh, I see. And I failed in mathematics. There was no remedial as well? well remedial is... Uh, is uh, Letter dating? Yeah. I see. That is, uh, that. But from there, I went to tech. Okay. And when I went to tech, I made it up that I should, I should pass. So I, I sat in the same papers again. The set books, we did my best for, 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 for English literature. But uh, we did, I did a set book, I think, I think Judicis also for my remedial recital. And what worried me with the Latin was the Latin. Because Latin, I was not doing a set book. Uh, I had been prepared by Bishop Esso for Latin. So I was very sure of myself. You know, Latin, you do paper one, paper two, and paper three. Oh, paper three is on scene. So I decided I would do paper three on scene. Mm -hmm. And I knew I was going to pass. I knew. So I did paper three. What, what do they mean by on scene? On scene, you don't, you don't have a set book. Oh, okay, okay. So you, you don't go for a set book. Okay. So I did on scene for paper three. What worried me a bit about the unseen was something in the in the in, in the exam sheet called scansion. 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 So I had a relation who was an ex Indian who helped me with the scansion. And then of course Paul also a relation who helped me with the scansion. And I went through it with it. Just when I did that, I passed it away. And then I also uh, made sure that I strengthened my skills in my practice. My practice, we have been on easy friends. Uh, I didn't really like, like my practice, but that is beside the way. You said you went to tech from St. John's School. Yes, yes. I went to I, I, I I went there as, uh, not as a student, but I went there as a worker. Okay. okay. But I was seven time to, I will tell you. When I went, I was going to be a clerk, grade three. Then I realized that there were some people who were being employed as wardens, uh, is it wardens or hall keepers or something? So I applied, and these people came from the senior wardens of wardens office. So I want to tell him of my pro program that I needed more time to study, and therefore, if I could be employed as one of the uh, hall porter, mm -hmm. of the hall porters. So, but you, you have been interviewed for a class appointment. How do you relate to that? So, sir, is a white man from called Jim Stokes. Say, I need more time to study. I did this, I did this, but I failed, and then I need time to study. She looked at me, smiled, and shook his head. Okay. 
I will give you a chance there. So I went there, and that was where I studied. I studied. I studied. And uh, we did my examination at Pepper College. I think I remember my index on my zero zero four something. Wow. <laughs> so I did it. And when I passed, I went to show my results to Mr. Stokes. He said, Congratulations. But I told Mr. Stokes that I was going to leave the university. So why? In about two years' time, they will make, make you. Um, Administrative officer, class three, wow. and you rest on it. So, so I want to leave this place because I have achieved the purpose for which I came here. When did you study this one? Then New Times Corporation advertise for reporters mm -hmm. and all sort of. People for the for the, for the establishment. So I applied, and then I got the chance to be employed by Guinea Press as an editorial assistant. So we were working up and down, up and down. Somebody said my post was too big, so they should change it. Hey. So it was changed. To um, a feature writer, so we were on it. Today I was transferred to this paper. Tomorrow I was transferred to. The, I was going around. It was only evening news that I didn't work on. 